Hey, Ray South students, it's Mr. Alkirk. Outside from another activity you can do. So if you're able to go outside and grab a tennis ball, you can do a plank hockey game like we've done with bean bags where you try to slide in between somebody's arms. And you can either play goalie or not play goalie, don't let them go. See how many times you can go through. Or if you're by yourself, if it's not a windy day, maybe some paper towel rolls. Today it's a little windy. So I'm using these little blocks. I'm gonna play a little plank bowling. So it kind of looks like this. I got a plank position pretty far away from it. I'm gonna roll it and see how many times it takes me to knock down all three or five or six or how many blocks that you have or paper towel rolls. Oops, I missed. Or if you want to, just sit up as regular bowling. Like I said, you could use paper towel rolls. Practice your bowling, stepping with the opposite foot, throwing the hand behind you, bring your thumb up, straight. Okay, so that's another outdoor, outside activity you can do with a tennis ball, okay? Or if you have the ability, you have a building near you, you could just throw it against the wall, catch it off the wall, or bounce it. Okay, as long as you've got a safe place. This way you're working your hand-eye coordination. Like I said, you could do this with a sibling or an adult in a plank position, roll back and forth and play hockey, or have a little mini competition, do some bowling. If you don't have wood and it's not a windy day, you could use some paper towel rolls or maybe some cones. All right, that's another activity for you to try at home to work on your hand-eye coordination and some upper body strength. All right, Rice students, I'll see you later. Bye.